Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel for this week's toolbox safety topic video. Before we get started, make sure that you give me a thumbs up down below here to encourage me to make more videos this type. Also subscribe to my YouTube channel where you'll find additional videos of this nature, other safety related videos and leadership training videos. And if you find this information useful or helpful, make sure you share it with your colleagues and coworkers. Well, let's go ahead and get started with the toolbox safety topic video. This week's topic is workplace inspections. And I found this in the Raken construction application. Check out the application, it's pretty good. When it comes to safety in the workplace, it is necessary to do inspections. As part of all the prep for the workday, all areas need inspecting before the day begins. It is a good idea to have inspections done every couple of hours throughout the day. At the end of the day, before the workday is over, a thorough inspection needs to be done. Why should you inspect areas regularly? The main reason areas need inspecting is to make sure work is always done as safely as possible. Inspections should not be taken lightly. Hazards should be immediately taken care of to avoid problems. The issue that has arisen needs to be resolved before any workers continue their job. Work area hazards. When you are working on a construction site, hazards are a big problem. Safety is the number one key to pay attention to. Eliminating all hazards that are present is the only way to avoid work-related injury. Some of the hazards that can be present themselves are objects, people, equipment, and animals. There are going to be people, objects, and equipment in most work areas. By removing the unnecessary ones will help to avoid problems. Only the people, objects, and equipment that is needed at the very time should be there. This will get rid of the chances of unnecessary injuries happening due to being crowded. There's biological hazards. When you work outdoors, you are not only subject to the weather, but you're also going to be around outdoor bugs and insects, reptiles, snakes, so on and so forth. There are many different insects that can cause harm to you when you're bitten by them. Some such as spiders, ticks, and this isn't an insect, but snakes, these type of vectors or biological hazards can be a problem to you when they carry disease or poisons. They can cause you to experience illness, allergic reactions, and even long lasting problems. Not to mention that they are extremely distracting when flying around you, which can cause you to lose focus on what you're doing and get injured. Focus on inspections. The task of doing inspection is one that needs to be done thoroughly. If you are not completely aware and observant, you can miss important aspects. There are a lot of different types of hazards that you can find on a construction site. Some such as fire hazards, broken tools, missing guards for equipment, outlet problems, missing labels, faulty equipment, housekeeping issues, electrical cord problems, sharp objects. While these are only a few of the most common found ones, there are many more that can happen. Make sure that when you're performing an inspection that you are doing it thoroughly. When you locate a problem, fix it right then. You should never leave a hazard unattended. And also, don't rely on PPE. Personal protective equipment is a great thing to have available to you. All crew members should wear it at appropriate times. It is designed to protect you according to the job that you are performing. Many people forget that it is not the only source of protection that you have. You should never ignore safety hazards because you're wearing PPE. 
Following safety guidelines and rules in the number, is the number one way to keep you safe while working. Your protective gear is there as a backup, not as your sole form of protection. And there are some common types of PPE. That would be earplugs, steel toe boots, safety vest, coveralls, hard hats, work gloves, face shield, rubber gloves, harnesses, eye protections. And then let's talk about types of hazards. Work area hazards can vary widely depending on the type of work that you are doing. On a construction site, you could be dealing with many types of scenarios. Chemicals could be present or other situations that need extreme caution. Some of the main type of hazards that should regularly be inspected are the chemical, phycological, that's plants, physical, biological, and ergonomic safety. These are the areas that should be paid close attention to while doing inspections. When you're looking around and checking for safety, think about these topics. The areas that you are inspecting should be able to pass all these areas. Examples, some examples of hazards in a construction site. The reason it is so important to perform regular inspections is for the safety of all workers. Sometimes the outcome of a problem doesn't only affect you, it can present harm to others around you as well. Some of the many hazards that are present are collapsing trenches, manual lifting, manual handling, working at high levels, noise, slips, trips, falls, asbestos, moving heavy equipment, falling equipment. Inspections performed regularly will help keep everyone on the work site safe. Pay attention and make hazards known. It is the only way to work safely and effectively. How often are inspections performed? The crew needs to do daily inspections to make sure everyone is working in a safe environment at all times. At the start of the day, throughout it, and at the end of the day. This is going to help keep yourself and other workers safe. Now, monthly inspections will be done or may be done to ensure safety regulations are being followed. Documentation will be made to keep a record of the results. A health and safety representative from the state may come and perform these. The importance of site inspections. Regular site inspections are important to prevent injuries and illnesses from happening. It can be very easy to be complacent in your job and let things relax on safety precautions. When things become this way, it opens up doors for accidents to happen. It can also result in more costs for tools, materials, and equipment when these things are not well taken care of. When regular inspections are conducted, it can help you stay on track. Part of these inspections is checking to make sure areas are kept clean and organized. Inspections will be done on tools that are being used as well as all heavy equipment to make sure that everything is safe for use. All right, boys and girls, that's it for this week's Toolbox Safety Topic video. Thanks for stopping by and thanks for watching. Make sure that you give me a thumbs up down below here to encourage me to make more videos of this type. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel where you'll find additional videos of this nature, other safety related videos, and leadership training videos. And if you found this information useful or helpful, make sure that you share it with your colleagues and coworkers. And until we see each other again, take care of yourself because you're number one. Look out for your coworkers and help ensure their safety. Have a grateful day. And remember, I will see you in the field. All right, boys and girls, inspections, inspections, inspections. Safety guys want to inspect everything from track hose to gloves to boots to hard hats to work plans to everything. 
And the reason they're in the le and the reason us safety guys do that is we want to make sure that you have a thorough understanding of the work that you're about to do and that you have noodled it out and saw all the hazards and that you're protecting yourself from those recognized hazards. Um, anyway, that's it for this week. Uh, if there's a particular video you'd like to see, just leave a comment down below and I'll see about putting one together for you. If you have a, a, a specific question, also just ask a question in the comments and I'll get back to you. And remember that these uh, toolbox safety topics can be used on your job site and for your team members. Uh, just uh, make sure that you have a sign-in sheet. Um, pick a video, this video, I have several other videos, other people make videos, show the video, ask some questions about the video, have everybody sign off that they've watched the video and participated in the safety meeting. And uh, that becomes a record that can be uh, handed over to OSHA to uh, verify that you do um, hazard uh, recognition training, hazard mitigation, mitigation training uh, for your team, for your job site, and for your company. Uh, anyway, I think that's it. If you watch to the end, I'll drop some kind of Easter egg in there. Uh, anyway, I think that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a grateful day, and I will see you in the field. Stop recording.